Hi everyone, welcome to watch our live show today. I'm Nancy from the Chance. I'm in charge of product marketing, especially for agriculture industry. Hi, I'm Tony. I'm in charge of business development in Jordan and Saudi Arabia. Uh, yes, as you know, from the year of 2010 and 2000 to 2016, one fatal disease attacked the whole aquaculture industry in China. Because of this disease, the shrimp production was reduced to uh, almost 30% every year. Usually at the beginning or outbreak of this disease, the feed intake on shrimp will be reduced abnormally and then the shrimp will stop eating and starve to death. Uh, more seriously, the living shrimps will eat the uh, dead shrimp body and also will infect it with this disease. Uh, so it is very common that when shrimp is infected with this disease, the whole pound of shrimp will die. Wow, it is really a fatal disease to shrimps. And, yes. uh, I know uh, this disease outbreak not only in China, but also in many other countries in agriculture industry. So yes. what is the disease and how to prevent this disease? Yes, uh, that is also the topic of our live show today. Today we will introduce how to prevent EMS. And uh, we will introduce from these parts. The first one, the cause of EMS. What is the main cause of EMS? And the second, how to prevent and control EMS. And uh, also uh, in the control method, we will introduce one of our product for uh, shrimp health. Yes. Yeah, uh, so uh, we go to the first one. What is the cause of EMS and how to prevent EMS? Uh, we will explain it in detail in the following part. Before that, I would like you to invite you to uh, subscribe our YouTube channel, uh, channel and you also will receive many uh, notifications before every time a uh, live show and also some videos to get more knowledge regarding aquaculture, poultry and uh, ruminant. Uh, yes, and our company The Chance had, uh, has more than 16 years uh, history in the industry and we have a very professional team, a technical team, and many experts uh, in this industry. Uh, I believe that we can help you to solve many problems you are facing in the production. Uh, so, but uh, let's just get back to our topic today. Okay, uh, first question. What is the cause of EMS? Uh, from year 2009 to 2014, uh, during the outbreak of EMS, uh, there are many agricultural experts. They have different opinions on the cause of EMS. Uh, the many, uh, the, the, their opinions are many in below three aspects. First one, the degradation of shrimp breed. Second one, the worsening of water quality. The last one, the toxins reduce the immunity of shrimps. But uh, there was no animal's definition on the cause of EMS. Yes. Um the professors from Henan University uh, insist that uh, EMS is caused by either virus or vibrio. After a long time of research, uh, the professors reached a conclusion that it is yeah. vibrio that causes the uh, EMS of shrimps. Uh, yes, uh, uh, refer to the vibrio. I think many shrimp farming farming customers or many customers are very. Uh, have or maybe have a surprise that uh, they never think that the EMS is caused by the vibro, but uh, uh, it is truly yes for the vibro. And uh, also, um, I think many shrimp farming customers are very familiar with the vibro. Uh, vibro is one very common germ that it exists in the sea water and also carried by shrimp by the shrimps. Uh, it can be found that the, the vibro exists in the digestive tract of the shrimp. Uh, but when the vibro quantity is very limited, the vibro will not cause any harm to the shrimp. That is why no one connects the EMS disease to the vibro. 
uh, but the problem is that if there is a large number of vibro in the hepat pancreas of the shrimp, it will uh, release toxins and uh, those toxins will damage the tissue, hepatopancreas, tissue or hepatopancreas and also impair the digestive, digestion and absorption functions of hepatopancreas. Uh, yes, and you know, the structure of the serine body is uh, very simple and the digestive uh, system cons uh, of serine consists of uh, stomach, yeah, stomach and hepatopancreas uh, and intestine, yes. Yeah, this, uh, is, this is the hepatopancreas yeah. of the shrimp. Yes, yeah. and the hepatopancreas is the most important organ of the shrimp. The storage, digestion, and absorption uh, of nutrients are carried out uh, by the hepatopancreas. Yeah, uh, so we talk about the, that shrimp dies from the EMS actually because the hepatopancreas is infected with the toxins. Uh, we have a video to show you that the health hepatopancreas and the hepatopancreas infected with EMS. Let us check it. You can see the healthy shrimp, its stomach and hepatopancreas are dark brown black colored. Its intestine is also brown black colored, full of feces. For the sick shrimp, it is, uh, its stomach is empty. The color of hepatopancreas is much lighter than that of healthy hepatopancreas, obviously. So the health status of shrimp can be judged by the color of its hepatopancreas and intestine. Uh, okay, uh, that's right. And uh, you know, when the quantities are very limited uh, in the shrimp body, uh, the vibro will not affect the health of shrimp. But when the quantity of vibro is excessive, the shrimps are very likely to uh, be infected, which causes EMS. And now it is the question why the quantity of vibro in the shrimp body rises. Yeah. Uh, after analysis on water quality, it is found out that uh, the excessive uh, vibro come from the water. Yes. Actually, if the total bacteria count to vibro uh, is over 20 to 1, then there is no need to worry about EMS. But if it is 10 to 1 or even 5 to 1, the excessive vibro is likely to cause EMS on shrimps. Uh, why the vibro in water is increased sharply? And also the, the experts suggest the following uh, possible reasons that uh, is the first one, the increase in breeding density. And uh, too many shrimps, too much feces contaminate the water. And uh, the water become dirty and uh, the growth of vibro will be improved. When the quantity of vibro in water uh, rises, the quantity of vibro in shrimp body is also increased, yes. So then more toxins accumulate in shrimp body and finally it will cause EMS. Uh, yes, uh, so, uh, so now we have got the cause of EMS, but yeah. how to prevent EMS? Actually, it is not easy to uh, change the breeding style of shrimp farmers. I mean, right. uh, it is impractical to reduce uh, the breeding density of shrimps. Yeah. So the question will be how to maintain the stability of the water and uh, inhibit the reproduction of what we grow. Yeah, uh, for this question, we have the following solutions. This first one, reduce the excessive feeding reduce the feces and the other substance that support the reproduction of vibro. Yeah, and the two, uh, maintain the stability of the normal water environment mm -hmm. and add microecological preparations, decompose the feces and remove dirt. Yeah. Three, decompose the feces at the bottom of the pond through chemical agents. Uh, and four, when the temperature is high, the algae in the pond will multiply in large quantities, and as a result, the shrimp uh, will die in large quantities, which is beneficial to the reproduction of vibrio. It's 
especially in Southeast Asia, uh, which can supplement uh, photosynthetic bacteria and inhibit the algae reproduction. Yeah, and uh, also uh, here, here we want to mention the shrimp, the stress of the shrimp. The key to vigorous <coughs> intrusion is the stress. Stress is the source of shrimp disease. Anti-stress method should be done to improve shrimp immunity, maintain water stability, and reduce external stimuli. In one word, there are two aspects for prevention of and control on vivo. First one, dealing with the stress. Second one, dealing with the reproduction of the vivo. Uh, yes, that's right. And we also talked so much about the importance of the hepatopangreas health with shrimps. Yeah. Uh, we all know that the digestive function of hepatopangreas, actually it has more functions such as uh, detoxification. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we protect the health of hepatopangreas, uh, the immunity of the shrimps will be enhanced and uh, the shrimps will keep healthy. Yes, uh, so how to protect the shrimp hepatopangreas? I know there are many products on the market for enhancing <coughs> the immunity of shrimps. But today we have a, a, a innovative functional feed additive by acids. And uh, its main function is for protect shrimp hepatopangreas and also help shrimp pass the liver transition period. And uh, 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 here I want to introduce our company. Our company, La Chance, has been focusing on the bar acids for uh, more than 16 years. Also, let's ask, let us see the benefits of bar acids on shrimp. Uh, okay, I will introduce the benefits of the bar acids on shrimp. Uh, first one, promote the metamorphosis and sh shorten uh, the molting time. And two, replace the part of cholesterol uh, to reduce the feed cost. And three, protect the health of hepatopangreas and intestine, which I mentioned so many times. Uh, and the survival rate of shrimps can be improved by 10%. And four, enhance the uh, anti-stress ability of shrimps anyway to uh, improve the, uh, the immunity of the shrimps, so the shrimps will be kept healthy uh, and uh, the production can be guaranteed. Yes, correct. Uh, we have many customers that are using our bar acids in their shrimp farming. Here we have a video from one of our customers in Philippines. Let's take a look. Okay. Today we're talking about the uh, cause of EMS and uh, the measures to prevent EMS. Yeah. I believe you may have a basic knowledge about this topic, but if you have, still have uh, any other questions, 
please do not hesitate to contact us and we will get back to you also. Yes, and last but not least, if you like our show today, please like, comment and share it. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. You can watch our uh, live show every week and also more useful information about poultry, aquaculture and ruminant production. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks for what for your watching today and please leave your comments if you are interested in our products. We will select two best commentators and send our gifts. I'm Tony. I'm Nancy. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.